Another day, another battle. We are now one dozen battles into this. Battle number 12 coming at you. Today we're pitting the Kamo Netro Matcha from the T-Crane up against Blend 98 from Breakaway Matcha. Let's brew them up and see you back here in a minute. Okay, they're all brewed up and we're back. Looking at the two, you can see in this case the Bled 98 is a bit more uh, of a vibrant green in the cup. A little bit more muted for the Camo Natural. Let's give them a smell though. Yeah, this one's very reminiscent of the cinnamony yellow tea. Note that I've been picking up in a few of these. Sweet, spicy, clean, nice aroma. Bled 98. Oh, chocolate. That's weird. Peanut butter. Like peanut butter or chocolate, like a Reese's cup or something? That is the first time I've gotten that note on any of these. That's weird. I'm not really get, getting much vegetalness. It's just that, oh, yeah, just very strong chocolate. And then a little underlying peanut butter. That's very intriguing. All right, let's give them a taste. Cheers. Bit bitter. Does have some of that spicy cinnamony, nutmeg even, star anise, but without kind of the anise side of it, if that makes sense. The bitterness. Oh, it's definitely got some astringency going on. Definitely an interesting matcha. Not, not one of my favorites though. It's definitely interesting enough that I went back for another taste. I find in certain Japanese tea a kind of fishy undertone in certain in certain Japanese teas, and I'm kind of getting like a side side view of that. If that makes sense, like if you're looking forward, kind of in your periphery, there's a little something going on. It's kind of got some of that fishiness that I don't particularly care for. It's not bad, and I'm sure if it was paired with a nice sushi, it'd actually work really well. But just as a, a general daily drinker, not sure I'm a fan. Let's try the Blend 98 now. Creamy, rich, not. I think the bitterness that I'm getting is still just a little bit of the aftertaste off of the Kamo. Nice umami, thick, kind of, yeah, it's very nice. I don't really get any taste of that chocolatiness, but uh, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Clear winner in this case, Blend 98. So with Blend 98 moving into round two, that means our bracket now looks like this. It also means I can tell you a little bit more about the Kama Natural Matcha from the Tea Crane. So this is a 30 gram container, priced in at $25. So this actually is the cheapest matcha in the entire tournament, coming in at 83 cents per gram. The season is spring of 2017. While most of the matcha in this tournament has been from 2018, this is actually from 2017. So the cultivar, so now this is a native cultivar. So what does that mean? That means that instead of taking one of the named cultivars and cloning it, they took a named cultivar and then let it reproduce naturally from seed. So I don't know what the original cultivar was that this started out as, but it is a native grown from seed cultivar. And it comes from Kamo. Kyoto. The description off of the Tea Crane website is as follows. This matcha is produced on a farm that is situated right on the border between Kyoto and Nara. The native cultivars on this farm are grown only through applying natural cultivation methods. This means that no unnatural additives nor organic fertilizers from animal waste has been applied and in effect imbues the tea with the freshness and energy of nature. When prepared in whisk in a sufficiently moderated dose the tea has a tremendous rejuvenating effect. Its taste is slightly bitter at first, but quickly reveals some hints of raspberry and dark chocolates. Interesting, I didn't get either raspberry nor the dark chocolate, although, like I said, that the chocolate smell off of this Blend 99 is just kind of crazy. But I didn't get really any lingering, let me try again, now that's been kicked out. Yeah, it's just not something that I, I, can, I can get at this stage in my tea journey. If some of you out there want to pick it up, maybe you can find it. Sounds really nice. 
I wish I could pick that up, but unfortunately I cannot at this time. Anyway, that will do it for round number 12, and I will see you here tomorrow for 13. See you then.